Today I'm going to be using this amazing casting resin. I get it from Michael's and it cures in 10 minutes and it also turns white. Now when mixing it, you're going to mix equal parts of part A and part B. I'm just using a plastic red cup that have the lines on the inside. I'm going to be working with the Silver Bells mold and I'm going to mix the two parts together once I have measured them equally and I'm going to stir really well and then I'm going to pour it in my mold. Now this is a little thinner than the epoxy that we normally work with and again it cures in 10 minutes so you have to work fast. If you over pour you will not be able to save what's in your cup. Again your working time is pretty much 10 minutes. So after I poured it, it does start to dry. You could see here the leftover in my cup gets very clumpy and gooey. And then over the 10 minutes, it dries pretty quickly. Once it's fully dry, it pops right out of the mold very easily. And before removing it from the mold, you want to make sure that it is nice and hard. Now I made three different sets and I got these small little circle ones by just removing the bottom portion of the long skinny mold as pictured here on the left side. And I painted my first set with Wise Owl Republic Red, my second set with Wise Owl Spanish Olive, and my third set with some Wise Owl Black. And once those were fully dry, I'm going to take my decor wax, this color is Eternal, and all these products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. You put a little decor wax on your finger and you rub on top of the ornament and it's going to catch all of that really pretty design. And I did this on every single ornament. Now again, I made three different sets. So I repeated my first step three times and I created the small little circle ornament by using the long skinny one, I just cut the bottom off. I have this board, it's a 23 and a half by 12 inch board, and I painted it in some Wise Owl White. I gave that two coats, and I got this mesh stencil off of Amazon. It says, have a holly jolly Christmas. It's reusable and adhesive. I'm going to place it in the bottom right corner of my board, and then using some gel art ink, I'm going to fill in the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. Now this particular mesh stencil I got off Amazon, but we do have several different ones on our website as well. And I'm using the Gel Art Ink to fill in the pattern. And then I'm just going to use some Joshua Tree around on the little starbursts and dots. And then I'm also going to mix it with some Wise Owl Republic Red. And I'm just using these small plastic spreaders to fill in those areas. And then you can remove your stencil and you want to wash that or wipe that up right away. I have these little pine stems with pine cones on them. I believe I got them from Hobby Lobby and I stapled two at the top of the board. And now I'm going to place my ornaments kind of staggered. And I'm using three on this project. And I'm gluing them down with some hot glue. You can also use some E6000. Once those are in place, I have this red bow that I'm going to put at the top here to hide my staples. And I also stapled the bow down and I just covered the staple with the tail. I have this metal chain that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby a while ago. It's just a nice thing to have around. And I'm going to use that as the string to the ornament. And I'm going to have the ornaments hanging from the branches here. And I'm just holding each end down with some hot glue leaving the center kind of free falling. And there you go. The remaining ornaments, you can just tie some jute around and hang on your Christmas tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.